Concern about the situation at Japan's damaged nuclear plant is growing. Government officials say 300 tons of radioactive groundwater could be seeping into the Pacific Ocean every day. Plant operator Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, is about to make another attempt to contain the leak. But without accurate information on what's happening below Fukushima Daiichi, determining the effectiveness of the work will be a challenge. Government officials say about 1,000 tons of groundwater may flow from a hillside into the soil below the plant every day. Of that, about 300 tons filters through a contaminated area and is laced with radioactive substances. Then it seeps into the sea. Another 300 tons bypasses the contaminated area. The remaining 400 tons of water is leaking into the basements of the buildings housing the facilities for reactors. That water is contaminated, and it's being pumped out and stored. Crews at the plant have been injecting soil-hardening chemicals into the ground on part of the site to stop the water from leaking into the ocean. But there are concerns that effort hasn't been enough to stem the flow. TEPCO managers say crews will bore a well as well uh, a well as an interim measure that is and then pump out some of the water starting friday they're also planning to sink about 35 meter long pipes into the ground workers will use the pipes to pump out groundwater starting next week they hope to drain 100 tons per day long term they're considering freezing the soil beneath the buildings crews would bury pipes and inside them circulate coolant kept at minus forty degrees celsius the frozen soil would act as a dam to prevent groundwater from reaching the contaminated area but it could take one to two years to complete the project and maintaining the cooling operations would be extremely costly industry minister Toshimitsu Motegi says the government will take the lead in drafting a new plan to completely halt the leakage of contaminated water. He attributed the current situation to TEPCO's lack of effort. A Japanese scientist is questioning the way the government officials have handled the nuclear crisis. Professor Takashi Ishimaru has been studying the impact of radiation on the ocean since the accident nearly two and a half years ago. He says officials should have got involved with the groundwater problem much sooner. The government should not have left TEPCO to investigate the problem on its own, waiting until now to get involved. They should have taken the lead in finding the solution and clarifying what needs to be done. Professor Ishimaru also says government officials must pay more attention to the impact of radiation on marine life. Levels of radioactive cesium have come down in a lot of fish, but we still sometimes see the same high levels as before. We need to find out exactly why. Otherwise, we won't be able to ease the concerns of people in this country. Ishimaru says government officials are not giving enough information to scientists in Japan or other countries. He says they must be more proactive or lose international trust. Officials appointed by the Fukushima government have made an emergency visit to the damaged nuclear plant. They're investigating whether the operator of Fukushima Daiichi is doing enough to stop leaks of contaminated water, and they're unimpressed by what they found. 22 officials inspected areas of the compound where contaminated groundwater has been leaking into the sea. They assessed an underground tunnel that's believed to be filled with highly radioactive wastewater. They also monitored work that's been done to reinforce embankments between the number two reactor and the sea. Crews constructed barriers to prevent the water from reaching the ocean. Several officials voiced frustration at the way TEPCO has been handling problems. They said the utility has been reacting to issues as they rise rather than taking preventive measures. Fishermen will never have peace of mind until we know for sure that the contaminated water has been contained. Plant chief Akira Ono promised to implement whatever steps are possible. He said he would try to see the situation from the perspective of the public. TEPCO admitted for the first time last month that contaminated groundwater is leaking into the sea. The vice governor of Fukushima Prefecture has asked the government to take the lead in handling the matter and stop the leakage. 
Masao Uchibori told an official from the Nuclear Regulation Authority that some of TEPCO's measures have increased the risk of further leaks. The official said speed is the key to deal with the problem. The vice governor said the utility needs to do more. The measures aren't enough to deal with an emergency situation. The government should make the first moves to handle the matter and produce results. That's what the people in Fukushima are hoping for. Japan's prime minister is taking action to stop radioactive groundwater at Fukushima Daiichi from flowing into the Pacific Ocean. Shinzo Abe is considering a plan to give the operator of the nuclear plant Tokyo Electric Power Company funding to deal with the uh, problem. Uh, TEPCO managers are considering building a large underground wall to dam the groundwater. Prime Minister Abe spoke about his decision during a meeting with government officials. People are extremely concerned about these leaks. They must be dealt with. The government cannot leave the issue entirely up to the plant operator, TEPCO. We must take steps to help the utility. Abe told the industry minister to instruct TEPCO managers to do whatever they can to stop the leaks right away. The industry minister says the government will take the lead in drafting a new plan to completely halt the leakage of contaminated water. Toshimitsu Motegi urged the members of an expert panel to work out a concrete proposal by the end of September. <laughs> We have to speed up our efforts to compile feasible measures, including the possible release of water below the legal limits of contamination into the ocean. Motegi called for a study on how to pump out groundwater from the mountainside of the reactor buildings and other sites. He also suggested creating underground walls to stop the water from reaching the ocean. In May, TEPCO officials announced a similar plan to release groundwater into the sea before it gets into the plant's compounds. Fishermen are against the idea. They say it's hard to tell groundwater and contaminated water apart. Crews trying to control Japan's damaged nuclear plant are struggling to stop more radioactive water from seeping into the sea. Managers with the operator of Fukushima Daiichi are putting a new plan in place in their effort to contain the water on site. Tokyo Electric Power Company workers have already constructed underground walls to try to prevent leaks. But the contaminated groundwater has been building up behind the walls and is starting to spill over. TEPCO managers say the workers will dig a well to pump out the water and temporarily store it in an underground facility. They'd planned to start the job at the end of August, but officials with the Nuclear Regulation Authority urged them to begin as soon as possible. On Monday, TEPCO engineers detected high levels of radioactive cesium in groundwater in another area of the plant. They took the samples from a monitoring well near Reactor 2. Highly radioactive water has been accumulating in the reactor building's basement. TEPCO managers say they don't know what's causing the spikes. They say they'll do tests to find out how the radioactive water is spreading and what effects it's having on the environment. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant says its risk management policy failed after workers detected contaminated water near the reactors. The admission comes days after the utility recognized that groundwater contained high levels of radioactive particles had seeped into the ocean. It took more than one month for the company to admit the leak. TEPCO officials told a panel of outside experts that they had opted to wait until a final confirmation of their data before recognizing the problem. They say they didn't want to disclose what they called an unconfirmed risk because they feared the information would deal a blow to the local fishing industry. The first signs of groundwater contamination were recorded in May inside monitoring wells and the plant's port facility. TEPCO officials promised they will proceed with the release of any information, even if it might raise public concerns. We deeply apologize for the shortcomings of management regarding our delayed admission over the leakage of contaminated water. We still need to work hard to develop our ability to communicate with the public. The head of the expert panel, a former chairman of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission, has expressed disappointment. This lack of an effective communication program diminishes the hard work that a lot of people have been doing uh, for TEPCO. 
The president of TEPCO and the vice president in charge of nuclear power have agreed to a 10% reduction of their salary for a period of one month.